Hey guys, this is Fiera from Sunkiss Blush. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I achieved this look. I decided to do this makeup video sharing some of my tips on how I get ready when I need to do it fast and I still need to look good. I would say it's a 5 minute tutorial. It will probably take me a little longer because I talk through the process but when I have literally 5 to 10 minutes to apply my makeup, this is the look I will go for. It looks really natural. It's really easy to do and it's really fast. So before we start, I would ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done this already and to press on this ring bell button. I'm not sure where it's gonna be. It's probably next to the channel name um, so that you'll receive a notification about my upcoming videos. So let's start. First of all, I would need to cleanse my skin. I'm gonna start with this beauty water from Sunset Park. Wipe my skin in case I have any residue from other um, skincare products because I don't have much time to wash and go through all those skincare steps. I'm just gonna wipe it clean and then I'm gonna follow with either the Caudalie SOS Thirst Quenching Serum or this Hydra Beauty Micro Serum from Chanel. I love them both, probably I'm gonna use this one because my skin has been not really good lately. By the way, this is a sample. The, the product comes in a little different packaging. I'm gonna apply the serum. So the trick is to maintain the hydration of the skin and that will be basically enough to even out the skin tone. While I'm preparing my skin, I'm also gonna prepare my lips. This one is Total Lip Treatment from Sensai. It's really hard to find in America, so alternatively, you can use any other lip balm. For example, another favorite is Lumiere Lip from Tom Ford, but I'm gonna use this one. Just a little bit on my lips so that whenever I'm ready to apply my lipstick, my lips are prepared and ready to rock any color that I would choose. So even in a fast lane, my skincare routine is not complete without the sunscreen. Right now I'm using sunscreen from Juice Beauty. This is an organic product, it has SPF 30, it's quite hydrating and I like the sheer that it leaves on my skin. It has a little white cast but it's not that bad. This is one of the sunscreens that I listed in my blog post about the sun exposure and sunscreens. So if you haven't checked that already, you might want to take a look. So I'm going to link the blog post and all the products that I'm using in the description box. So you can already see how glowing the skin looks. Just because I'm talking, this video will take a little longer than 5 minutes. But really, when I do it in a rush, it takes literally 5 minutes. The next step is to apply an eye cream. This one is from Kiehl's. It's a creamy eye treatment with avocado. I really love this one because it absorbs so fast and it delivers enough moisture. But at the same time, when you apply concealer on top, it won't crease. So I'm applying it all over my lid because hydration is important for healthy, glowy skin. My skin is already glowing you can see. So another product that is really easy and fast to use is this Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream from Bare Minerals. Even if I skip the sunscreen, which I don't really like doing, but even if I skip it, this one gives me enough protection on a daily basis. So I'm just gonna spread the product all over and I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers. When I'm not in a rush, I would probably use a beauty blender or a brush to blend out tinted moisturizers or foundation. I'm just gonna apply it in the places when I think I need most of the coverage. So you can actually increase the coverage of this product by applying another layer. And a little bit on my neck. And blend it out evenly. Next, I'm gonna use Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. This is the concealer I use by default, if I can say so. So I'm just 
applying not too much just a little bit to cover the darkness that I have under my eyes and I take it a little further inside see I'm mostly using my fingers I think you know the heat from your fingers make the product blend out fast and more evenly when you in a rush it looks much better I believe honestly there are also products that are performing better when you use your fingers it's probably personal preference so I'm also applying some of the concealer on top because I have some uh, veins showing up and I want to have an even skin tone so next I'll be applying the this vanish highlighter from Hourglass. It's a cream stick highlighter in a really gorgeous color. The shade is Champagne Flash. I'm applying the product on my finger like this and then I'm gonna tap this ring finger into the area where I want to be highlighted. It's gonna be like this. So you probably even see this is the most prominent area. So and actually all those skincare products that I use so far, they're showing me what is the best area for the highlighter placement. I'm gonna apply a little bit here on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the tip, under my brows and I'm gonna take just a tiny amount of product and I'm gonna apply it to the corner of my eyes. In the meantime, if I notice any crease of the product on my skin, I'm gonna take this Sigma E40 brush, this volume 4 ambient face palette from Hourglass. If you can see these two shades, these are finishing powders. I'm gonna tap the brush in both of them. But before I put product under my eyes, I'm gonna clean up a little bit so that there is no creasing. Tap the product lightly to avoid other creasing. Next, I'm gonna use Creamy Blush from NARS in shade Portofino. Again, using my two fingers, I'm gonna apply it to the apples on my cheek. Just to add some color. So if I see that I have some extra time, I would use the Ambient Volume 4 palette again. This bronzer here, I'm gonna use it as a bronzer slash contouring bit of a product gonna place it right here so when I don't have enough time I'm probably gonna skip this Ooh, that was too much so if I don't have enough time I'm probably gonna skip this part here so I'm either gonna apply my blush or the bronzer I don't tend to apply everything depends on what I feel like having on my skin on certain days by the way I was using Sigma large angle contour brush at 40 moving next to eyes so this is my favorite part because I have a secret trick that I use every single time and it makes my eyes look a little bigger, my eyelashes a little thicker and this is something I think you can learn from me <laughs> this is something I really love doing and I do it every single time I put a makeup on so this is the eye pencil, it's called highliner from Marc Jacobs I just paint the waterline, the upper waterline with a dark color so that visually makes my lash line thicker I really find that this is a trick that works most of the times for me something that I would definitely use and I would also recommend for people with hooded eyes and those who don't have that much going on here because if I look straight you can see that I don't have that much space showing up here so I'm taking this pencil and um, throwing underneath between my lashes on my lash line so I just tuck one end I'm not painting the whole waterline I'm gonna stop about here right about here um, just because first of all it's really hard for me to get inside but secondly I don't really need to paint it all over don't want it to be so prominent so I'm gonna repeat same on the other side so again I'm not taking the pencil 
right to my corner I'm not sure if you can already tell the difference but when I look at myself in a mirror I really can see the difference I'm gonna follow with mascara from Marc Jacobs it's Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara in black so I'm usually cleaning up a little bit so that's not too much product on the wand I don't like applying too much in my eyes I'm not taking my time that much when I'm in a rush if I have too much product on my lashes I'm gonna take a clean spoolie and try to brush it through for my brows I'm using the brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills the tinted brow gel in shade espresso i'm not really bothering a lot about my brows even though i have over plucked them and i'm growing them out but anyways i'm just gonna go lightly with the product just to make sure they a little bit groomed all right and i'm gonna finish with chanel lipstick it's a new shade from rouge allure velvet in 68 up straight this is the color of the lipstick slightly darker than my natural lip shade but at the same time it gives a really nice rosiness to them and i also like the tip of this lipstick this is the tip that really works for my shape I don't even need a brush or anything like that. I think there are only few lipsticks in my collection that I can apply right from the bullet. I'm gonna finish everything with this all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. I'm gonna even maybe do it in a car or somewhere. I'm just spraying this all over my face because it will keep my makeup lock in place, which is really, really important. If I have a bad hair day, I would probably use this dry shampoo here hair is pretty clean right now so there is no need for that but this is my current favorite it's called first class from IGK this is something new I discovered lately so yeah this is pretty much it this is the look I was going for I really like how natural it looks with artificial light or with daylight I really like how glowy that is but at the same time it's not shimmery it's not like I put a lot of glitter on my face it's glowing without much effort so I'm not caking or baking or going like to those extremes. The glow comes from the skincare products that I'm using. I like the colors on my skin. They look pretty natural. They match each other. It doesn't look like I have too much product on my skin. This look will work with any clothing, even any occasion. This is something I would recommend trying because it's really easy to do. Something I would use every day, especially when I'm being late somewhere or I don't have enough time to prepare or I'm just being lazy. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I see you soon in my next videos. Bye bye!